This is Leila. Uh, I'm going to talk about one of the AI features that we have inside Power Query to transform the data without uh, actually lots of click and very easy. Uh, and this is, uh, is about column from example. So we can add column from the example that we provided. Uh, I'm going to show you two examples here. First is the data that I collected from IMDb website uh, for the 250 uh, movies. Uh, we are going to see that how we can use a uh, column from example to uh, kind of split the data that we have in the first column. So first column has information about the rank of the movies, the title, and the year. So I want to see each of them separately without using any UI feature inside Power Query or using any M language. So I'm going to do that. So uh, uh, the option is from selection. So from the selection, first of all, I'm going to extract the rank of the movies. So the style is actually one dot. So if I push the enter, so I provide the example from the here. So as you can see here, we have one dot. So I'm going to extract the information in the same. And as you can see, it's follow the same pattern for the all movies. So I think it's correct and I push the OK. So it's going to bring the data for me. I just need to change the title to be rank. And if I want to make it perfect, I need to remove that dot from there that I use it the replace value. And I just think that so it's easy. And to make sure because the text is always good to trim the data. So this is the first column. In the second one, I'm going to extract the name of the movies. So I'm going to write the first movie name, that is the Shawshank Red Redemption. And as you can see, it's provide the other movies. So from the example that I provide, it's able to extract the other. So that's also correct. And I'm going to put the title. As you can see, there is no year for that one. So it's able to actually to extract the name of the movie. So we can do that because there is a pattern in this style. And the finally is the year of the movie that I'm going to put. So 1994, I prefer, so sometimes it's not able to find from the first row, it's better to provide the second rows. But here in this example, after I provide the uh, first row that is 1994 is from that example is able to uh, extract the other one and uh, I think that's kind of uh, okay so I just click on that and now I have a year of the movie in a separate column I totally recommend that uh, uh, trim the data after that because all of them are text so you can change it to the numeric value for example the rank and also year should be uh, same so first trim it and then convert it in the second uh, example I'm going to talk about um, date so here I have a column uh, that comes from the publication date and the orders of the book. So I have date in the American style and also the time. So first of all, I want to going to create a column. Uh, just include the date, not the time. So uh, I follow the example that I have. So 9, 14, 1994. And as you can see, I just check it to make sure that this is correct and seems is okay. So it's actually extract the date from the order date for me. So now in the other example, I want to extract the month and year. So again, I click on that from the selection. I just provide the uh, day. So, or maybe first month, so, so, so nine, so nine, five, nine, nine. So it seems actually works well. So yep, that's a one. So as you can see, I didn't change the name of the each column. I didn't change that one, but it's, uh, uh, it, uh, itself find out that this is a month. So I can do the same. I can do for the day and 
so I just can see that so the day is 14 so it's able to extract the other and it's named the column day and finally we can do the same for the year so again for the year 1994 and 1990 oh uh, you see that here I select that one while I need to select the other one so first of all make sure you select the correct uh, table from there and then so you can actually see that one it should be selected over here so the date is 1994 and the rest is able to extract so that's why it's important you select the correct format so that's a year and it's so correct here in some example for example you want to have a different style of the day uh, so my machine is actually is in US uh, in a US region and it shows the date in a US format. But uh, also I want to hold the uh, day as a uh, New Zealand date format, uh, but not as a date type. So I'm going to use multiple column to doing that. So I create a column from three columns and I'm going to mention that I want to create a day with this format so it's actually create a merge column for me that is actually combination of these three but in a different format so there are other examples that you can do that so uh, that's so uh, flexible and i think is a really interesting features that help you without writing or doing lots of transformation apply your transformation and it's so easy thanks so much for watching this video